Well, this Sunday, the 83rd Annual Academy Awards will bring movie watchers back around to their favorite pastime, guessing who will win and who will lose on Oscar night. The big anticipated winner for Best Actor is Colin Firth for his role as King George VI in The King's Speech, the film that got 12 nominations and is the frontrunner for most of its awards. In the age-old battle between the modern and the historical, The King's Speech represents the latter. It's set in England on the eve of World War II, and it's about a lot of things that the Academy can relate to. It's a buddy picture, it's also about performance ultimately and showmanship, and it's also about war and nobility and all the important things that go into leading a nation. However, the competition for The King's Speech is The Social Network, a movie that's as modern as anything. The movie will get David Fincher a well-deserved Best Director Oscar, making this year one of the few when Best Director and Best Picture don't line up. However, King's Speech star Colin Firth will get a Best Actor Oscar, beating Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network and James Franco, who's up for 127 hours and also one of the hosts this year with Anne Hathaway. Meanwhile, Best Actress is another fascinating race to watch, and it's very close. Annette Bening is the frontrunner for The Kids Are All Right, but Natalie Portman is also up for Black Swan. And this is one of those categories that, in some ways, is the height of glamour for Oscar night. Portman is the princess waiting to be crowned. She's been in movies since she was a preteen, and she makes a quantum leap in Black Swan. It's virtually a wordless performance. She speaks, but a lot of the film has to do with her face and her physical movements. A lot of the emotion of the movie is really in her eyes. And that Benning, in a lot of ways, has to play the one true adult in The Kids Are All Right. Julianne Moore plays her life partner. Mark Ruffalo is a childish sperm donor. And the two teenage kids are trying to find their way. But Benning is the moral compass of the movie. This is really going to be an interesting race to watch. Benning lost in 1999 when American Beauty swept, but she didn't win Best Actress. And Portman's been nominated before for 2004's Closer. This will be a nail-biter right to the very end. The Best Supporting Actor and Actress categories both go to a pair of heavyweights from The Fighter. Christian Bale gives a knockout performance as the drug-addicted brother of a boxer played by Mark Wahlberg. And Melissa Leo is the manipulative but hard-charging mother of the boxer. There are other possibilities, of course. Jeffrey Rush, who previously won for Shine in 1996, could win Best Supporting Actor for The King's Speech. And Helena Bonham Carter, who's only been nominated once before, could also win as the Queen Mother in that film. It's definitely a possibility that The King's Speech could sweep but I really feel like The Fighter has got two strong performances going on in it, and they'll both be a knockout. One final category that's easy to click on is Best Adapted Screenplay. That's going to go to Aaron Sorkin for The Social Network. The movie is a click-within-click, smooth-scrolling masterpiece, and Sorkin, in his first nomination, is going to win it. Sorkin's screenplay about alienation and the way we all connect in the 21st century is going to absolutely connect with Academy voters on Sunday night. I'm Joe Newmeyer, film critic for the New York Daily News.